Hey everyone, in this presentation, we're going to be looking at Menke's disease. Menke's disease caused by mutations in the ATP7A gene, which is responsible for the transportation of the copper throughout the body. And you can transport the copper, so you'll have deficiency of copper. And Pilsen disease, which is caused by the mutations in the ATP7B gene, you will have excess levels of copper. And you should know that the body uses copper as a cofactor to activate certain enzymes in order to carry out certain functions. When these enzymes are not working normally because of the copper deficiency, you will have problems in the control of the development of hair, brain, bones, liver, and arteries. It's a rare disorder. Recent studies suggest that the incidence of Menke's disease is about 1 in 35,000 live male birds. And the majority of the diagnosed infants are male. The symptoms are important and the most important symptom is brittle, kinky, sparse hair. We can have rosy cheeks, sagging facial skin, feeding difficulties, irritability, lack of muscle tone, floppiness, low body temperature or hypothermia, intellectual disability and developmental delay, seizures. We said that it's more common in males because transmission is X-linked recessive. That means genetic counseling should be offered to couples where the mother is a carrier of a pathogenic variant, informing them that the risk for a male fetus to be affected is 50% at each pregnancy. For diagnosis, we'll be looking at clinical features. We can see typical hair changes associated with hypotonia and delayed neuromotor development. And also we can look to reduce levels of copper and ceruloplasmin. Ceruloplasmin is a protein produced by the liver, and it stores and carries the copper from the liver into the bloodstream and to the parts of your body that needs copper. Unfortunately, we don't have complete cure for Menke's disease, but treatment uh, with parenteral copper histidinate can increase survival and lessen the neurological symptoms if initiated early within approximately 28 days following birth. So if you found this video helpful, you can you can like, share and comment down below. See you later.